Hey, what's up guys? Well, today's video is gonna be short, sweet, and to the point. So, let's start off and talk about iOS 12.1.3 Developer Beta 4. A new beta was seeded by Apple today. This marks the fourth beta iteration of iOS 12.1.3 and marking the second beta release of this week. So, that being the case, it's likely that we're going to be seeing the final version of this beta be released as early as next week. Now, if we go into the settings app, go into general and about. This is the build number right here. It's 16D5039A. Now, I went ahead and ran a Geekbench test, and really between the third and fourth beta, absolutely marginal differences. Really, I don't think you're going to notice any difference. So that pretty much covers the beta. What else do we have to cover in today's video? Well, a potential very useful exploit for iOS 12.0.1 and below has been released by Simo right here. Um, and this apparently is fixed in iOS 12.1. So I went ahead and this is the GitHub project right here. It doesn't sound like this exploit by itself is going to lead to a full jailbreak, but it could again be very useful paired with other exploits. So we'll kind of have to wait and see to see exactly what it can be used for. But this is the bug right here on Apple's release notes for iOS 12.1. It says an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. And if you guys saw right down here on his tweet, actually, he said more bugs are going to be coming soon, meaning he has more in store for us. Well, I'm guessing this is referring to the second bug in iOS 12.1, patched in iOS 12.1, that is, um, which which pretty much does the same thing. It just has a different CVE. So he might be releasing his information on that as well. So we'll have to stay tuned. Now, another awesome thing, I know you guys on iOS 11.4 and 11.4.1 have been waiting for this forever. I have some great news to share with you guys. A potential iOS 11.4.1 jailbreak might be coming very soon and it's being worked on by no one else but Tim Starr himself. So it sounds like he has made some major progress. He's got the kernel base. The only thing why I didn't make a separate video on this is it sounds like it's going to be for A7 to A9 devices, meaning the iPhone 6S and below pretty much, um, or any device with a headphone jack. So no iPhone 7 and no iPhone 8. So that is pretty much that. We might be having a new iOS 11.4 jailbreak coming very soon, as well as iOS 11.4.1. If these exploits follow through and are actually used in the correct way, um, it shouldn't be too hard for Coolstar or for Pwn to Own to update their associated jailbreak utilities for iOS 11.4.1. So all in all, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Yet another beta by Apple. We have new exploits for iOS iOS 12.0.1 and below. Again, we still have more exploits that are coming out very soon by Sorry My Bad, and we might actually be hearing from Ian Beer relatively soon about some of the exploits that were accredited to him in iOS 12.1 and iOS 12.1.1's release notes. And then very lastly, like I said, a potential iOS 11.4.1 and 11.4 jailbreak for those of you who have remained on iOS 11. Anyway, guys like always do not update to ios 12.1.3 stay on the lowest version of ios 12 that you can and now it's looking more like i can confirm if you guys are on ios 11.4 or 11.4.1 definitely stay there and we'll have to wait and see exactly what comes from this news if a new jailbreak utility is going to be cooped up rather soon. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Definitely give it a huge thumbs up if you appreciate these quick jailbreak updates. Definitely subscribe if you want to stay updated on the latest jailbreaking news. And again, thank you so much for watching, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.